Hi guys, it's that time of year again. This is Thrifty Mama Scraps. This is my bin for December Daily. I can't believe that it's time to make the December Daily again. So I wanted to kind of show you some things that I have in my bin. Um, I keep all of my December Daily um, stuff, scraps, stickers, um, albums, anything that would possibly be December Daily um, worthy goes in this bin. And then when I am creating my December Daily ahead of time, I usually create it in November if I can. And then in December, I will add the photos. Um, in years past, there have been times where um, I have waited until... December to make the book and then um, because I knew what was going on each day and I could plan each day according to the things that we did in December and then I just um, sent all my pictures to Walgreens to be developed at once and then I just filled them really quickly in the end and that worked well too so I think this year I will be able to do my album ahead of time in November. And um, I'm going to try not to do two themey pages um, unless I know for sure something that's going on. Um, I know my parents are visiting in December. Um, Matt's birthday is in December, but we're not going to see him because he lives in Arizona. Um but I might FaceTime him and take a picture of that. Um, we always get our Christmas tree on my birthday. So that's usually the very first, and my birthday is in November. So um, that will probably be the fir very first layout in the December daily. And it is every year. Um, because my birthday always falls like either... A couple days before Thanksgiving or a couple days after Thanksgiving this year it's two days after Thanksgiving so or sometimes it's on Thanksgiving so um, last year if you remember my album and there is a video of this album on my channel um, I used the just the November kit of the hip kit club for the entire album and I do have bits and pieces left over. Here's a bit, a you know, little piece from that. I can't remember what company um, did this, but it was whatever the Hip Kit Club was um, last November. So, so I have lots of bits and pieces, um, some things that I handcrafted myself. Um, there's some old fashioned magazine um, ephemera. Um, so I know some things that are going on will probably go to the parade here in town. Um, I know that we, um, our middle son has a coupon to use at Legoland in Schaumburg. So I'm, I know for sure that we're going to go up there one day in December for that. Um, we have plans to go shopping in Arthur. Um, our kids love to go to um, the, it's an Amish vil village, um, about an hour or two away from here. And um, they love eating at the restaurant there. They have like an Amish restaurant and um, they have some Amish stores and it's just fun to shop there. Um, and we get all of our baking goods and things like that, gifts for people there. Um, so that is on the agenda for December as well. And then my husband's company that he works for has a Christmas party um, in December too. So we'll probably go to that. Um, so this is it. And I'm going to go through this a little bit and show you some of the stuff that's in here. But it, it's so full, it would be impossible to go through everything. Um, paper is in here. 
I don't really worry too much if like scrap paper gets a little bit wrinkled. It's not that big of a deal to me. Um, it doesn't get too wrinkled because I put it in here flat, but some cute Winnie the Pooh Christmas things. And it just depends on while I'm making my album, what direction I want to go. I also put old Christmas cards in here. Um, I know a lot of people have switched over to doing the pocket pages for their December daily because um, that is the kind of album that um, Allie Edwards um, sells in her December daily um, kits. Um, and she's she is the um, scrapbooking queen that invented or discovered December Daily. Um, I don't know if she invented it as much as um, just, you know, plunged ahead um, with the idea and came up with the idea anyway for creating December Dailies. And then now they're doing October Dailies too. Um, I did not get a chance to make an October Daily, but I do have a bin exactly like this in my office that um that is filled with october daily things if i ever if i ever decide to um do like a full holiday album or anything like that it's easier to find too um some happy birthday stuff because we have birthdays in december and in november um these are some snowflakes my kids made quite a while ago i think i need to use them up though because they're starting to rip. But um, they're Star Wars themed. Here's R2-D2 and Darth Vader. And just random stickers. I'm trying to get to the album that I'm going to use for my December Daily predominantly. Um, most everything in here is really old. Like probably 15, 20 years old. A lot of this paper, stickers. Um, I've been scrapbooking for a really, really long time, um, since 1999. Um, and I only had one child then, and my oldest was, in 1999, he was five. So, or no, he was a little bit older than that in 1999. He was six. He was six in 1989. So I have washi tape in here in case I want to use it. Um, ephemera from different things. Um, just anything that grabs me as far as like could be used for holiday themed albums goes in here or winter as well. Um, of course, definitely using this. This is really big this year, this um, Buffalo check plaid. So that is gonna get used um, without making a gigantic mess. I'm gonna search and see if I can find that album. We'll see. I'm not 100% positive that I can do this. Okay, so the album itself, let's grab it. Let's see. Ha. Okay, so these I got, um, if you remember, I did a haul of this in a it was on a Facebook um, scrapbook grab bag. So one of these albums is gonna be the album that I use this year. And I'm gonna recover this with um, scrapbook paper. I'm not exactly sure what paper yet, but generally there's about 25 pages in here. Um, and instead of using pocket pages, I, like I said, I don't use the pocket pages. Um, 
I like using pocket pages for other projects. I do um, have some Project Life type albums that I do use them and it would be fine. It's just that I just want to use these little small albums up and I prefer the little small albums because I set them all in a basket. So I'm gonna keep one of these out so I can do that. Here's another style. This one's really cute. This is our Christmas story. This one's already partially decorated. That's adorable. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna use this one or this one. What to do? I don't know. I think I'm gonna use that one next year, so it's kind of like not the same. I like I like to be different. So um hmm. I'm wondering where that pad of paper is. I purchased a grab bag from Thrifty or Peachy Cheap, that's what it's called, a while back. And in it was an Illustrated Faith tablet, a paper. I'm going to use that along with all these scraps stickers and stuff. Hmm. It's in here. Here's another thing that I made. This is Old World Winter. This is a pad I bought. Oh gosh, I don't even know how long ago it was. I don't think I've even used it at all. So I'll probably use this too as foundation pages and then I don't wanna get in here too hard. I know this looks really disorganized, but actually it is it's contained. I'm more of a contained person than I am. I mean my house is organized but like you don't want to see my office right now. Let's just say that. I cleaned it, but it's still not where I want it to be. Hmm. Well, I am going to turn this camera off and I'm going to search for it and then I'll be back to show you that pad of paper that I want. Okay, I'm back, I found it. So this is um, Illustrated Faith, Christmas, or Christmas, and it's got like, it's more of a religious themed um, paper pad, but it should fit these pages nicely in this album. So that's what I'm gonna use. It's beautiful. It's really a beautiful collection. And I think I can use a lot of scraps that I have that is in this bin along with it. I think there's two sheets of each. Um, I'm not sure if it's a brand new collection or if it's old or if it's older. Um, but it's really pretty. If you're not religious, um, there's quite a few things that are not um, religion specific. Um, like this one is because it has the manger and baby Jesus. Um, this one just says love each other, peace, love, kindness, Christmas. So that one's not really. Um, joy to the world, holy, holy, holy. You are the light of the world. That one's a little bit more religious. Um, but most of them are just, you know, generally Christmas. So. It's only a few pages that are really um, really or faith based. So that is it. That is my bin of goodies for December daily, and I'm hoping to get started on this this weekend. And I will come back once I have it um, finished, so you can see it before I add photos. 
and um, if you want to see my older ones I have all of them on this channel um, uploaded and all of my albums so you can take a look if you need any ideas for your December daily but I thank you all for watching and I hope you'll come back for another video with um, with my finished December daily project and um, maybe I'll film some of my process videos I'm not sure uh, I kind of I'm kind of short on time right now so we will see but Thanks for watching. Bye.